Hi guys, it's Jim from drtangenstein.com and we've got a video today about fermentation temperature control. Now, a lot of the videos out there, a lot of the blogs, the forums focused on temperature control are mainly focused on cooling things down, which is, which is fine. You know, uh, a lot of home brewing is based in America or Australia or Southern Europe where temperatures can generally be pretty hot. Um, what I do to cool my uh, fermentation down generally is find a nice cool spot in my house where the temperature never gets very high, which in my southern Yorkshire home is pretty easy. The difficulty is when it's February in England, that nice cool spot is basically frozen and my yeast are asleep. So I've been looking for ways that I can gently warm my fermentation. I shouldn't say heat. And the best way that I've found to do this uh, recently is with this gadget. This is the Fermentemp. Uh, what they've done there is taken the word fermentation and the word temperature and combine them together in a pretty clever way. Now, if you look at this thing, it's fairly, you know, it's, it's pretty nondescript, you know, it's uh, it's kind of uh, reassuringly heavy, you know, it's it's not a, uh, it's not heavy by any means, but it's got a, it's got a certain weight to it, you know, it's, uh, it's, you, you feel, you feel like there's something in there. Uh, it's fairly thin, you know, the, uh, the footprint is just, it, it's, it's basically, to look at it, you would just walk past it on the street. It looks like nothing okay that's not the case what you do with this thing is you put it on your floor it has these two temperature probes uh, white is to measure the ambient temperature you know the temperature in the room and black here is to measure the temperature of your beer so once you've picked your perfect spot you then put your beer on there this is my house famous American brown ale as you can see the temperature uh, probe is already in there uh, place your beer on top of it set your temperature using these uh, these there's basically two two uh, buttons that you can use to set the temperature uh, fairly easy and then you walk away um, and then that, that's it so I've had this on there I was um, just to, just a, a few a few tests I did with this firstly I put my probe directly into the beer now some people don't like the thought of doing that I guess that's understandable I suppose if you don't want to put the probe in your beer, just get a nice thick wedge of tin foil like this and tape it to the side of the beer with the uh, with the probe underneath. It's not going to be as accurate, so if you don't get as good results, you know, don't come crying to me, but it'll basically read the temperature at that point. Now, my initial worry with this was that it heats from the bottom. So I thought, well, as is my yeast not just going to get scorched? You know, I'm brewing a nice uh, brown ale here. It's not just going to uh, kill my yeast or, you know, make too many uh, yeasty flavors. But if you uh, if you actually put uh, temperature probes at various points, like I did, you'll see that one when the fermentation is really active, uh, the beer basically stirs itself and regulates the temperature, at least according to the probe anyway. So heating from the bottom is not an issue. So this is, this is a six gallon bucket with five gallons in it. It's, it's basically well suited to this. There's a little bit of spare space on there. So I think that the, the official line is you can do, I, I think 10 gallons I read somewhere. So if you, if you have this uh, temperature probe in a 10 gallon batch, it's gonna be as accurate as if it was in this, this five gallon one. Um, you can also, uh, I think, put you know, a few 
kind of demijohns or carbon, you know, a few one liters on there as well. I think you could probably safely assume that they're going to be uh, regulated in the same way, uh, thanks to the yeast. Uh, another feature that the, the system has, or another feature that advertises, is uh, secondary fermentation control. So, you know, I mean, if you're already fermenting in a shed, you're probably bottling in a shed as well. So if you uh, if you have a container that you can kind of put over this, so imagine you've got, you've bottled your beer now, you've primed it, um, you wanna leave it out there. So to ensure, you know, steady priming or fast priming, I guess, you can put a, put an atmosphere over there, a, a box or a, I don't know, put it in a bag or something, elevate your beers over the, over the element um, in a, on a rack. And the fact that it has this ambient temperature controller as well, it can make sure that the, uh, the secondary fermentation is gonna be kept at the same temperature. It's not a setting, you just set it in the same way and it does, it, it just regulates it uh, easily. I must say that the, the controls on this are absolutely foolproof. There are basically three buttons, up, down, and go. You know, it's, it, it's absolutely awesome. This is a piece of kit that I was, if I'm honest, I, I was quite, quite skeptical about. I dove in, I got it. I'm really glad I did. It's really, I guess, let me say, it's, it's really elegant. It, it works really well. It looks kind of cool. The name is really clever. If you're interested in this kind of thing, make sure you go out and get one. In the meantime, follow me on Twitter, at Dr. Tangenstein. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and head over to drtangenstein.com for the blog. Thanks.